Hello and welcome to another episode of Popular Cult. My name is John and joining me tonight as always is Charlie. Chris unfortunately can't be with us for this episode, but instead we have one of our favourite friends of the show, known otherwise as the Tattooed Rapunzel, <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> Welcome. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for having me along. Greatly appreciated. It's so good having you, dude. I, I'm glad I'm a friend of the show. You are. That's I like hearing that already. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> what are we watching, fellas? In what? THC. <laughs> <laughs> The audience is baking. That's correct. We are we're gonna watch the Pick of Destiny, Tenacious D. Mate. Oh, how good! Is this an HBO movie? Because uh, earlier we were talking about the TV show. This is not an HBO. It's New Line Cinema. <laughs> it's, it's legit. It's, it's gone two. legit, guys. Yeah. It's, it's a Time Warner company. Time Warner company. So we discussed this just uh, a couple of minutes ago. How I can't, I've probably seen this movie three, four times, Charlie. Probably a little bit more. I've seen it a few times, man. Yeah. I've, I've caught bits and pieces, which was probably about half of the movie altogether. This song, Kickapoo, so good. <laughs> Kickapoo. I don't remember all the lyrics to all the songs, but oh. I know some lyrics. So I used to, I'm not going to lie. Songs. Here's something old school you might not know about me. I used to live in Townsville. Um, and for those unfamiliar with with uh, Australia, it's very far north. I used to DJ at a RAF base. And the most requested songs I would get always Tenacious D. Fuck her hard. Tribute. <laughs> Wonder Boy. That's Wonder, it. Wonder Boy is so good. Always at the RAF Wonder base. Can you play Boy. Tribute? Can you play Fuck her hard? And I'm like, I can't play Fuck her hard, but <laughs> <laughs> I can play the other two if you need me to. Just Tenacious D was, was the jam in far north Queensland in about 2000 and... Oh, I'm oh, sure no, it's early 90s, probably. Sh- late late be, 90s. For sure. Maybe 2006, 2007. This kid that they've got for Jack Black's perfect, by the way. So good. The dad? Is that Meatloaf? Is Meatloaf. I didn't recognize him without the tits. I do have some Jack Black stories. I'm so pumped. Oh, let's do it. Should we dive dive right in? (laughs) The kid is perfect, man. Maybe just dive in when you see an opening for it. Well, all right. So it relates back. The first one isn't as cool because like... I met him for like a second. He was in, he was touring in Australia and was like walking around all the shops and stuff and came down and to one of the stores that I was working at and he was just had sunnies on. He didn't want to be like, everyone was freaking out. Sure. And he just, you could tell he was just like, can I just like do my own thing? And I just gave him like, Hey dude, what's up? He's like, Hey, what's going on? And then that was it. He went on his way. A better story. Is my friend and I, who slightly, maybe a little bit, resembles Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe. I don't know. It, we were at a restaurant called the Olive Garden. <laughs> I've heard of this place. That's where you go for really, really good Italian food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the best I've ever had. <laughs> so, me and my friend my friend Timmy uh, we're just like having a nice date mandate it's cool eating eating food (laughs) and this couple behind us this dude just like starts talking to us like hey you look familiar man Uh, like I turned around I was like what and Timmy my my friend's just like what do you I, I don't know who you are and the dude just starts going on like, like, no, 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 you, you look familiar, man. You've been in movies, you've been in TV shows or anything like that. And my, my friend is just like swearing up and down who has definitely not been in any TV shows or movies. He's like, nope, haven't been in anything. Like, I, I think you're mistaken. I'm sorry. And then like the dude just wouldn't let up. So I turned and I was like, all right, so check it out. This is, this is my friend, Tim, uh, He's Jack Black's brother. Nice. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) And I was like, he'll, so like once in a while, like, you know, we don't like to talk about it too much because, you know, we don't like people freaking out. But um, 
he'll do like his you know he's a stunt double and stuff whenever he does any you know crazy crazy shit on movies and the dude just loses his mind like i fucking knew it man <laughs> <laughs> like just so like so convinced that my friend is some, wow. somehow jack black in some way shape or form so it's like yeah he's his brother and just 100 percent believed it yeah no no questions asked like oh just, did you grow up around here yeah 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 we grew up down the road like just just <laughs> did just not just question it bought into it the well, whole way it was, well, it was amazing that's great tim timmy signed his name like <laughs> <Give him, laughs> fuck off <laughs> come him. on it was that's am- amazing so amazing photo Oh my god, check this out. I've yeah, got they got a photo. Fuck that's yeah, so, yeah. so amazing. That's brilliant. <laughs> I hope that that picture's on like that guy's fridge. Ah, it's so good. And he like some, my friend Tim is a pretty he's a pretty funny dude and he's <laughs> just over the top with anything, anything in a bad way <laughs> sometimes. Um but he could like if he wanted to, he could sing. Like the Nation's D shit, no, <laughs> no problem. It's it's amazing. He has this t- this talent for being able to sing songs because it's funny to him. <laughs> like yeah, he he did a cover of Live, like Lightning Crashes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't Sorry, I'm try- I'm doing it like Eric Cartman. He can so he can like. He does that. He can do that voice because he and because he can do that voice, he can cover that song. Yeah. But it's funny. It's not like serious to him. <laughs> so <laughs> I can understand the mentality. Yeah, yeah. Never done it, but that would be an amazing talent. So for my buddy's Christmas gift, he made a ringtone of that song. <laughs> 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 he he even uh, like did like a cover photo shoot so he's oh, he's, na- he's naked and he's got the guitar he just has the guitar covering all his shit <laughs> it's f- so amazing it's really but it's like pretty spot on he's like, lightning crashes <laughs> the whole it's amazing and it's so good that's amazing love you Timmy alright so he's gotten off the bus so where is he Venice Beach yeah Venice Beach yeah. you been here who me yeah, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Yeah, a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> What's a couple of times, Charles? Oh, do you want an actual number? Billions, over a hundred. Okay. Like we it's, would go there the almost beach. every day. After. I heard it smells a lot like weed. Uh, yeah, and sage. Why sage? I don't know. People, it's growing something that grows on uh, the people wrap it up and burn it for incense or s- try and sell it for incense because it's everywhere. That's fine. <laughs> Kyle gas with my hair. It's so funny. That's just brilliant. Your hair's longer than that, surely. That's how I feel. I look. Johan like exactly Bach. that. I think I got Jack Black about like length hair at this point. Just gonna get that soul patch. No. <laughs> Soul patches are the worst. Maybe the worst facial hair. The flavor saver. Mm. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. He's rocking the side the bits, fl- too. The flavor saver. <laughs> the fish tickler. The fish t- <laughs> <laughs> Might have to edit that out, John. Uh, I'll leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shiny golden god. <laughs> This is, this, is the, <laughs> this is the whole podcast, isn't it? For sure. You doing your Jack Black impersonation. Dude, his facial expressions. <sighs> so good. Like, that's... He's so... Guy, yep, yeah, I gotta fucking run. How many takes do you, do you think, though? Because you can, you'd only do those faces so many times before you get nah. sick of it. Dude, you pull it out every time. For sure, he one take. Yeah, I reckon one take With as well. shit like this? Yeah. No problem. Cause like <laughs> it's just that's him, so he, yep. he just, he just do it. <laughs> the pizza love dude, it. loving love it, loving it, fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good! <laughs> it's brilliant. Extreme close-ups, what a win! KG, KG, Kyle Gas, the cage. <laughs> Not none of the Nicholas variety though. 
Nicholas Cage in a cage with Carl Gas Cage. Cage match. Cage match. <laughs> Nicholas Cage, Andy Samberg's version of Nicholas Cage, and Carl Gas the uh, Cage in a cage. Uh, Brilliant. Cageception. Venice Beach at night is not pleasant. Does it still smell like weed and say? Don't think you're beat up. Or is uh, his shit stolen? Smells like piss. It smells like piss at night. That's all right. It's part of, part of LA, man. You gotta take the good with the bad, the rough with the smooth. Yeah. If we don't talk over this, we might have to pay rights and stuff. <laughs> nah, <it's laughs> unless unless John does his his version. No one cares. That's true. No, no one cares. <laughs> it's got Monster Mash written on the. We did the math. Uh, yeah, this weird fucking Stanley Kubrick style. Clockwork Orange Clockwork stuff Orange going on. Shit. So weird. How random is this shit? Is this supposed to be a re- representation of Venice Beach at night? Uh, is this I mean, what happens? I guess it. British yeah. men come over with top hats and. Yeah. This, Bowler hats. This is real. This is w- exactly what happens. This has happened to you. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Shit just started happening. What a fucking pussy. Yeah. Not KG, Jack Black. Oh. Just like getting beat up. Oh, because I thought KG was all like, long hair, don't care. Yeah. I mean, both of them really, though. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's interesting, the character development, because... Th- Starts out like an absolute pussy, mm-hmm. and then they end up fighting the devil. That's true. That's like it's more character de- development in any film today. And the devil's not played by Dave Grohl in this movie. No, it is. It is. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. It's so good. Love the outfit. Carl's outfit's amazing, dude. Socks and sandals, man. Yeah, but that just that shirt is so long. Yeah, what a combo. My door is for her, bro. <laughs> Quite minimalist. <laughs> you know. It's just full of shit. I can't afford anything. Man, I have one of those. Real to real tape. <laughs> <laughs> Sick audition. <laughs> right the tiger. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. That's brilliant. <laughs> Good right name for a band. Well, you got the Alan Parsons project. That's true. This isn't this. So this, it's not. There's more of. project bands in here. You got the Manhattan Project. Yeah. Was that a band? Because it's a, definitely a project. It's also a band. <laughs> <laughs> also a project. It's true. Yeah, Project eighty six. Yeah. Project eighty six. Mm-hmm. Project one eighty two. <laughs> project forty one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, it was just naming bands with numbers in them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so full disclosure, that may have been made up. <laughs> yeah, I got Project it. 41. I got it. You're Canadian. <laughs> so good. Give me a power slide, full throttle. Dude. That's you've that's you've rocked pretty hard, Charlie. You also know reference. some rockers. Has any of them power slided? Yeah. Slid. 100%. Jason... Butler from Let Live is one of the most insane dudes I've I've ever seen perform. What kind of pants is he pals lined in? Uh, jeans, sometimes shorts. Okay, he's he's absolutely nuts. Looks like a head. Yeah, he's he's done some crazy shit. He's he's a he's an absolute performer. <laughs> One cock push up. Or else he can't be in the cock project. How many do you have to do? Just just one, I guess. Just I love the confidence. Yeah. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> he scats so well. Do you guys know why he like solos with his mouth? Because he can't solo with a guitar? Yeah. Is it that simple? It's that simple. He, like, he, when, in a lot of his interviews early on in his Tenacious D career, people would be like, dude, you fucking, like, solo, like, mouth solo so well. Like, yeah. why don't you just do it on the guitar? Yeah. You're like, because I can't. So I just solo with my mouth. That's brilliant. Because I'd be, I'd be like, I'd be writing music and 
I'd think of a solo and I'd do it with my mouth because my fingers can't do it. Yeah. And then I'd just get someone that I am friends with or that I know to do the solo. That's amazing. So sick. Like he'd do it with his mouth and then the person would be like, all right, I, th- I think I got can do something like that. And then they would just do it on guitar. <laughs> That's good. I definitely can't solo. Was that you moving your mic? It yeah. seriously sounded like someone fucking stomped through the house just now. It was, cr- yeah, that's crazy. The windsock does nothing. That sounds so gnarly. <laughs> Give us one more. Move it for me. Sounds like Jurassic Park. It's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm not hearing it. In the edit, just turn that part up really loud. I'm it's just gonna make it your message tone. Welcome. It's, it's like it's seriously it's like. Jurassic Park. It sounds like big feet. It was amazing. I thought Ashley had woken up and come out here, and I was like, oh shit, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> right, so they're both pretty baked on the couch right now. It's way too much THC. Did you guys ever have TV guides? TV like guides? We, have, we have, we we used to get in uh, newspapers. Mm-hmm. There used to be a section where it was just entertainment. And um, they'd have a TV guide at the back of that. Yep, correct. Okay. Uh, I lived in Queensland where the Sunday paper had a separate weekly Yeah, TV no, I guide. think that was the same here in Melbourne. Yeah. Yep. They were like... But we didn't have... It was not... I've seen an American TV guide. Nothing thick. Like, the, those things are thick. You've got yeah. so many channels, bro. It's insane. We have what? Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all like numbered. Same with New Zealand. Like, New Zealand literally has one, two, three. We have, what, two... Chris talked about this at some point. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys, you don't do that. You don't say Channel 500. Like, it's got a name, like, Arena, like a Foxtel TV channel. Would. NBC, ABC, CBS. Yeah, weird. And then, like, usually, like, CBS is Channel 2. ABC was always, like, Channel 7. NBC was always Channel 4. Uh, it's different com- in different states it obviously. Is. Yeah. Fox okay. like in California anyways, Fox is like channel 11, 11. ours were just numbered and it's the same everywhere right yeah. like we had channel 10 now we've got channel 10 we've got 7-2 <laughs> which to me makes a lot of sense 7 7 7-2 seven, 7-2 seven, two. Seven, two. 7 mate 7 mate. mate like that's insane but what were they thinking <laughs> we're already a number put a 2 at the end of it why do they so like there's no nine two. Yeah. There's no eleven two. I don't get it. Doesn't matter. I mean, I, channels, I, yeah. I do get it. Like, it's like go. This is our there. second channel of channel nine. Yeah, but you did you other shit on. Yeah, but you've you've at least you've called it something. You haven't gone nine, but two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or nine. So nine has go. It's lazy. Yeah. That's lazy. Yeah, but it's seven seven, it's, seven mate. It's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. But seven two. Yeah, no. Just seems lazy. Yeah, I think maybe pick your game up, channels. Because like. I guess Fox, like Fox. So there's Fox, and then there's Fox F- Sports. Yeah, there's two, there are two different channels. And there's FX. And there's Fox FX, and then FXX. Yeah, which is all in by Disney now. So, except it. the news, they didn't well, buy the news, did they? Because they want nothing to do with that shit. Yeah, and and sports. So okay. Fox, like Fox, kept their. Oh, could you imagine if they bought like Fox Sports? Like the rights to the Super Bowl or something? It was like a Disney themed halftime show. It would be insane. So insane. But that's so much money. It's crazy. It's it's pr- it's it would be unimaginable. No one needs that much money. I've I mean I, we can't get into this. <laughs> <laughs> here's a here's a question for you. Disney and now owns the Simpsons. Is Lisa a Disney princess? No, because she's never been a princess. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that simple. Yep. Because I'm sure she's been in princess outfits in episodes. Doesn't matter. No, doesn't. She's not a princess. She's, she's not, not born born to royalty. No. no. Yeah. She's a fucking pleb. Unless she Meghan Markle's her way in, <laughs> she's not <laughs> fucking royal. Futurama's better <laughs> better than Simpsons. Yep. True. Mm. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna anger so okay. many people. <laughs> <laughs> But What's your Twitter did, did, handle again? Chuck X Dewey. <laughs> it's not bring it. Is it? Is it? You've changed it. I don't know. He doesn't remember. 
Look it up. <laughs> Definitely tweet at it's us. In, popular cult. It's in the uh, the Pop- podcast popular. description link. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Look, I like The Simpsons. I grew up with. It's the okay. Sim- it's all right. Who did? It's, it's been on for twenty eight years. Yeah. Who didn't grow up with The Simpsons? Everyone's grown. Honestly, up with it's literally a case of you see yourself die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain mm-hmm. and then Futurama went down many six, times six seasons seven seven, seven. seven seasons and it went it was cancelled multiple times and it's just so good mm-hmm. it's people love it so good whereas The Simpsons has been on for 28 fucking years yeah and it's just gone downhill so much I don't even I mean I wouldn't watch an episode the last season I watched I would have watched when I was like fucking 12 for sure maybe maybe 13 like maybe I caught an episode <laughs> I don't know I don't know I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you what happens in a Simpsons ep- like no idea I have no memory of I actually have no memory of a Simpsons episode see I wasn't allowed to watch it growing up that sucks it was it was banned in mine that yes. makes me sad for you I was also not allowed to watch it, but uh, it wasn't no, I'm based on content. No, my, my 100% on content. 100%. It's not even like... No, my... Did your parents know? No, my mum was... she. There was a Halloween episode, Tree Treehouse of Horror. Oh, so, man. So, so good. good. And Bart at some point said, I'm going to cut you up with a rusty razor blade. And my mum went, no, nah, turn that shit off never again. That would, That is literally it. That's that story. That's brutal. Yeah. I remember that episode. The Halloween episodes were yep. always great. They were the best ones. They were the best ones. But no, there was a good maybe five to ten year period where I hadn't seen an episode of The Simpsons. Mm. Yeah, I didn't grow up with it. We It was always on at six and our family didn't. It was always at six. That was literally it. And like we had to watch the news. Mm. The news. The news. So anything after 6.30 we were fine with. But after that. Like before, like six to six thirty, that block where The Simpsons was always on that block. News was on because Channel Ten the showed their on. news at five. That's correct. Which allowed them to have The Simpsons every night at up six. against other news channels. We weren't allowed to watch it because you, it was like you could you, say Dad. you'd be at the table and you're eating. So if we were in a mate's place, we'd watch it. Yeah, because the dinners are like later. But my parents are like they're freaking routine. Fair I enough. love it. Thank you for all the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, and for loving me, yeah. yeah. Also, I missed out on a lot of Simpsons. It's fine. Yeah, I'm not damaged. But look at you now. Cool. Yeah, yeah watch Futurama. I'm fine. Absolutely, it's not better. There's a. Uh, is there a? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is there a Futurama video game? Yeah. Is it better than the Simpsons one? Don't no. know. Because no. the, the Simpsons one was there was only an Hit. arcade version besides Road what? Road Rage. Right? Hit and Run. Is that? Was that Road Rage? Simpsons hit and run. run. That was Road Rage, yes. But what was the, the arcade one where like Marge has got a vacuum cleaner and you've got a... So good. That one was amazing. It was like the, the Ninja Turtles yep. arcade game. But Great. This, just, it was the Simpsons version. Great. Everybody else, I was you know, 15, you guys are 20, 30 something. <laughs> I, <laughs> you dick. I didn't, I didn't grow up in an era with arcade games. That's There's always console that, games. That makes me sad for that you. That makes me sad for yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> get, go into the times. What was yours called? Do you know any arcades? Other than like Time Zone. Time Zone, um, yeah. I went to, but like, it's not like we went there a lot Dude, at all. There was an arcade down the street from my dad's house. Nice. Under, underneath the AMC movie theaters. Ugh. So you go get your movie tickets and you go downstairs to the arcade, play in the arcade. Oh, time to go to the movies. Let's go. Yeah, we had that too. Fucking awesome. And we would, so he would, the dude would like have birthday parties and like Ugh. once in a while I'd go down there and like when the birthday party things would start he'd like kick everyone out and the so once in a while the people that were having the party was like hey just stay <laughs> hang around yeah why not it's like yes things are paid for already <laughs> yeah is that like was yours like a token one yeah yeah had to cash in your cash for uh, tokens. No. you could do quarters oh okay yeah you could do quarters so I was like I'd go down there and take like five bucks <laughs> this part <laughs> where they have a birthmark oh, on really? each of their asses. Look. <laughs> T-Nac. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Mine says T-Nac. Mine says Judy. <laughs> oh, shit. 
fucked. I'm so good. <laughs> the guitar's on the back. I love it. Aren't like the first gigs they do just like them like not really playing, just freaking out? I no, I'm pretty sure they just they get really I think they, they um or they get really high and they forget how to play their <laughs> instruments. Isn't yeah. that one of them? Yeah, but they think they're doing amazing. <laughs> but it's and not but it's, it's not. But it's so good. <laughs> I love when they do their those version of it is amazing. That's brilliant. This guy's actually a pretty funny comedian. I don't know his name, I forget it, but I watched a stand up of him from a long time ago. It's good. He like puts a cigarette in between his. He's got gnarly gap in his teeth, and he puts a cigarette oh, in there. Uh, I feel like Simmons is in his name. Yeah, I feel like you're right. P. So I'm gonna get yeah. Sherman. So P. Sherman Simmons. P. Sherman Simmons, the Shermanator. Wallaby Way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Finding Nemo. Wow. Reference that wow. shit. Wow. Got it in there. Of the devil horns on his guitar. Yeah, his guitar it's is pretty amazing. Sick. JB KG True power <laughs> So good The harmonies are pretty dope though Oh yeah They're pretty They're they're good His voice is so epic <laughs> Danny <laughs> just <laughs> showed with the sharpie to oh, It's so rock. good We did We did Some spray paint t-shirts Back in the day It was pretty funny why is she so mad? They're so good. So good. I have, I should have seen them. I don't know why I never saw them. Well, like yeah, at a gig? Yeah. I had numerous opportunities. I just never wanted to go. I did, I did some ignorant shit when I was a kid. Like, I could have gone to England with my family. Dude. <laughs> but... Uh, Converge was coming through. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. So oh, hands down. Priorities. Like my dad was like, "Hey, you know, we're taking the family to to Europe. You know, we do you want to go?" I was like, Con- "No." Converge is in town. Don't want to go. Sorry. Sounds really fun. Thank you for the offer, but like five of my favorite bands are touring when you guys are going. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. I like it. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. I would rather go to a gig than. I would still do that. How were those gigs? <laughs> How were the gigs? So true. Amazing. Better than fucking London. Absolutely. Fuck London. <laughs> Not really. Your demise, my boys. I love you. Can I, Chris? Architects. Chris, I'm going to check a request out. Can you write a list of all the people you've offended on podcasts? So far? I did. <laughs> all of them. No, I want a collective list at the end of a podcast. Do we say it a lot? Yeah. We just offended. Fuck McDonald's. <laughs> fuck London. Yeah. All of England, sorry. <laughs> All of England. All of the different people groups who've just said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, sorry, London. Converge is more important. It's fair. They're still more important. Nah. What actually, if you had the opportunity to see another band in London? In London? At the same time that the Converge is playing, which one would you pick? Depends what band. Pick, I don't know. Pick a band that would make this a fucking hard decision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Conver- do, Converge would be difficult. Do his job for him. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, at the time, who was big in Europe at the time? What year are we that? talking? Yeah, probably like maybe 2000, 2001. So someone like Radiohead? Do they have to be British? Ah. <sighs> I mean, they yeah. don't have to be British. Do they have to be from no, the UK? They don't or have to be from the UK. What so if I could just take Converge to London and then it's fine? <laughs> put Do you want to see Converge? Put your hands to together. To London? Uh, all right, so Converge is in where Cal- you are, California. Yeah. Or I can see this band in London. In London, this gonna, the band's going to be good enough. It would have to be a band that appreciate would like is like broken up and is getting like I would go see. I would probably go see this band called. Buried Alive or Turmoil like it'd be have to, it'd have to be like a legendary broken up hardcore band that's playing in London and this is the last time they're ever going to yeah, play reunion, reunion show like a reunion show mm. the most epic thing of all time like you can't miss it yeah otherwise you're you're stuffed and they're playing like what Hyde Park or something yeah I don't know what okay. whatever a popular hardcore venue is in London it doesn't, ha- London doesn't have to be a park it has to, I would rather be much more intimate 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't like so it. Wimbledon <laughs> tennis court. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. <laughs> yeah, just tear the gates down. It's a. Uh, was Doctor Who's TARDIS? Is that in England? Sure, yeah. he's British. Is it in England? It should be. I mean, it's well, actually in time no, and space. So that's I don't want to get into Doctor Who. And that's not Chrissy. correct. Yeah. 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 One of them is Scottish, school. and one's from Wales. There. Doctor Who can be another podcast. Chris will do it. <laughs> the whole thing. That one's. He'll do the Chris. whole thing. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah. Yep. I've is, he a, is he a Whovian? I've never watched one Doctor Who. Episode. He would cry. I was, uh, I think it was the tenth Doctor, David Tennant. I was, I, I did watch all of, I, I watched all of that series because I, Who? I like him as an actor. Who's he? David Have you seen Tennant? Jessica Jones season one? Oh, yeah, yeah, the evil dude. He's oh, the, he's the bad guy. Yeah, he's great. Right, he's I, Kilgrave. That was good. He's he dope. was real good. Yep. Yeah. Have you seen Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire? Of course. He's also Barty Crash Jr. Yeah, yeah. That. All right, got it. He's also uh, Scrooge McDuck in the new DuckTales 2017. You've seen it. What the fuck? Revised. We know you have. Why is it here? Dude, DuckTales, the yeah. new season of DuckTales. I'm just going to put it out there and for all the haters, DuckTales reimagined or 2017 or whatever you want to call it, reissued, is amazing. But what's the theme song? It's funny. Uh, it's not DuckTales. <laughs> Unfortunately. Nice. Can we just throw Disney songs? Do gummy bears? I don't know that one. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Is that Care Bears? No, no, no. They are the gummy bears. It's gummy bears. bears. I don't. I don't know gummy bears. I know it's a food. <laughs> That's right. It used to be a show. Ben in Australia. Ben Stiller. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ben Stiller's cameo is next level. It's the guy movie. is a next level cameo artist, man. I feel like that's his character from uh, Dodgeball, what he's going to look like when he gets older. Yes. Perfect. White Goodman. That's him. That's the 100%. Yeah. Is it White Goodman or Dwight? I thought it was Wyatt. White. You're right. It is White, White Goodman. White Goodman. What's uh, what's Vince Vaughn's character? <laughs> Dude, he's so fucking good. Just at a Joe. Turn this way. Joe. It was yeah. Average Joe's. Yeah. Average Joe's. Gotcha. <laughs> the sideburns are amazing. Yeah. He makes any look look good. He does. He can really do it. You forget he's Zoolander. He's a chameleon. He is like, He's amazing. He is Zoolander. He's Zoolander. And you, you forget that when he's just... Like, what's the... What's the... Oh crap! Now I'm going to turn into you guys where I don't know the name or something. Gotcha. It's the <laughs> it's the movie he does with Robert Downey Jr. and he plays the Australian Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> the, he's <laughs> he's just a beefed up simple. Zoolander. But you forget that. Well, for part of it, part of it, he's simple Jack. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but how good is Robert Downey Jr. in that movie? <laughs> and Tom Cruise has a cameo in that too. That yep. is Tom Cruise's best fucking. Yeah, movie. right. He's don't amazing know. in that. Hundred percent. I know. Movie. I know you love Last Samurai, but he's he's <laughs> sensational in that movie, with the bald head. He's oh. gonna. It's amazing. He's just a. He's he great, just, and he just fucking fires off <laughs> f bombs. Like, oh, it's the Doesn't best. He, do you have to sing or do a dance or something? He does he's a fun. dance. Yeah, at the end, so good. It's insane. Like, I feel he should like do more of that. He really should do less of the mummy. Yeah, yeah. And do more of those. Just you can you can do that and Mission Impossible. I'm fine with it. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm pretty I'm all in with the Mission Impossible series. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. It's all, good. All of the movies are consistently decent. Yeah. Absolutely. Seen, what are we up to? Four? Five. Five. What? I don't think I've seen four. We're what not up to five, we're up to seven. Really? Hold really? on, what was the one where he's... So called Mission Impossible the the that's number that's number five. No, that's number five or six. Okay. What? First one. What? I'm confused first. now. And then there was one in Australia somewhere too. There there's, was, so oh. there's the first one, yeah. right? Yeah. John Voight, all that. There's the second one was a John Woo directed film. That's the one where he's head. It had Tom Cruise hair. It was amazing. Tom Cruise hair, yep. Yeah. That's the second one. Number That's three with Philip Australia. Seymour Hoffman. Oh, yes. yes. So good. Seen that, yep. So, so good. European. Yep. Great, yep. Number four, I don't remember that well. It's the one. <laughs> That's the one in Dubai? The one Dubai uh, runs through a sandstorm. Yep. So good. Yeah. That one's good. Number five. I think that's possibly that's the one the on the side of the airplane. Side of the plane. So th- we might be out to number six. Yeah, I'm fine. See, I only remember in Mission Impossible movies by the soundtrack. First one, Mission Impossible theme song done from the two guys from U2. Second one had that Metallica song and Limp Biscuit on it. 
Yes. The Limp what Bizkit a was song. Take, take a Look Around, something like that, I think. Great song. Yeah. But um, I Disappear from Metallica. That's how I, I just, I don't remember the actual movies. I know he's hanging off the cliff in Australia in the second one because it was John Woo and yep. explosions all over the place. That was amazing. Doves in the air. This one's number five or six? What's the plane one? We're Hanging good. on the side of the plane, it's which five. he did himself that's, in real that's time. Five. That's, that's five. That's number five. So the new one coming out with Henry Cavill. Which will be six. Which will be six. And Superman's the bad guy? Superman's the bad guy with a moustache. With, oh, with it, that's what they had to digitally edit out. <laughs> this is the reason. <laughs> Yo, that Yeah, that universal. This that moustache better be fucking glorious. It will be. It'll be strong for sure. <laughs> he looks like he has a strong moustache. <laughs> he looks like without it having it edited like seeing the edit over it <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's too, it's clearly it's too strong it's so yeah. strong <laughs> that's ridiculous but it's got Simon Pegg and Alec Baldwin oh yeah Simon Pegg um, yeah. he's in he's Alec in, Baldwin yeah was he in the last one uh sure why not <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. Alec I don't Paul. think he was. Shit, I think he was. What's he, gonna he be doing? A, I wonder if he's going to be a bad guy. He's going to be a close talker. No, like he's going to be the I'm head doing. of their department for sure. What I'm doing right now on the microphone. Yeah. Yep. Do you think you can do that? It's a low talker. Yeah. I mean, I've got a, I've got a filter in my mind. Yeah, but I can get pretty close. Yeah. Pretty but close. you've got to talk low. Yeah. So that low. in the edit, you'll need to turn it up. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Clint Eastwood, Alec Baldwin. Both do the same thing. And uh, dude from Arrested Development. Will Forte? Bo- Bojack Horseman. Will Arnett. Will Arnett? Yes. Will Arnett. I've heard good things Will about... Will Forte is the guy. I've heard good things about Bojack. Bojack, you got to watch it, man. It. It's amazing. That show is brilliant. Amy Sedaris is in it as well. She's great. Yeah, you got to get on that. And uh, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah. Good. I Just watch one episode. You'll fall in love. I never watched Breaking Bad. I only saw four seasons. I stopped before the end. Wow. This is not the podcast to get into that on if I'm the only one who's watched all of Breaking Bad. I don't care about spoilers. No, no, no. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just... Okay. You everybody should watch it. Everybody right. does. <laughs> Every, yeah, everybody everyone, does. Everyone gets cancer. Yeah. Is that is that legit? The yeah. drugs get them cancer. Yeah. Same thing happens in Titanic. Well, I mean, fucking <laughs> drugs kill everyone. Yeah. Uh, I was just lying. In Titanic? <laughs> It's a true story. Yeah, Leo dies because of the ice. Yeah. yeah well, you know who is in Titanic? <laughs> that is awesome. Victor Billy, Garber. Billy Zane. Victor Garber. The, the dude that's, that, the, that's the dad from Alias, right? He old, is. Old dude? Yeah, someone fire. Who, where else is he from? Yeah. Who are, Ah, interesting that you're on focus. So is he. Yeah, League of Legends. <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow. I was, I was, and The Flash. I always, I always say. League of Legends. <laughs> It's a fucking game. He's <laughs> it's a computer what game. What else is he in? He's done a lot of stuff, Victor Garber. He's in everything, man. I feel like he was in one of the Boston shows, Boston Legal, Boston Practice, one of those. Yeah. Again, kind of this deals. is where Chris is really useful. Sorry, Chris. Yeah. I know he's being on Broadway, actually. He's going back to Broadway. Yeah. Like, that's his shit. Oh. They wrote him out of the, um, out of the series. Now, see, now I, I just want to rewatch Alias now. I never watched Alias. Oh, never, never watched Abrams, it. great show. Great show. Oh, was he the... Anna. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, oh, was Rachel. he the main girl in it? No. <laughs> it's supposed to be really that good. That sounds about right. <laughs> Janie Jane Abrams. Yeah. She's great. Man. I thought maybe, because Jessica Jones uh, is alias, like, goes by alias. Sometimes. Alias uh, nice. investigations. Yeah, so I thought maybe That's her it thing. was yeah. connected. Uh, it's not. It's not, not at all. Good show, though. Good show. Highly recommend. If you're heading down that way. I know you're a movie guy. I probably won't watch it. Just saying, this <laughs> this one, this song that we're about to hear, yes, when sir. they have the pick of destiny in their imagination, is amazing. Yes. Here we go. That guitar right there. Smoking. I was never a big fan of BC Rich guitars. They just look like shit. You gotta listen to Jack Black's voice in this one. It's amazing. <laughs> Wait, why? He doesn't have the pick of destiny already. That's a dream. Oh, right. Clearly, because nobody's playing the song anymore. <laughs> oh, there we go. And <laughs> oh. the mesh. The a st- microphone. The metal mesh single. My voice is fucking powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I think, he's, he think he blows someone 
up. <laughs> Pregnant pause. That's that's a win right there. I think he blows someone <laughs> up. That fucking guitar, dude. Oh, oh look at it. That's, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. The eye makeup out of nowhere too. Yeah. He just points at a guy and just kills him. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. This is amazing. <laughs> so good. Literally. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Blue is mine. I did not mean... <laughs> To blow your mind. <laughs> now, is this the one where they think they're doing really good, but they're not? All the time. <laughs> His faces are just so perfect. Brilliant. I can't tell so how many times I've sung along to this. Please soundtrack. tell me it's three. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. He's got six hands. Oh. Doesn't make sense. Oh, he's like uh, he's that character from was it Mortal Kombat? Gordo. Gordo. Yep. Goro. Goro. Was it, did he have four or six? <laughs> Gordo. Gordo. My bad. <laughs> Gordo. Uh, Can you imagine? Apologies. Oh, hey everyone. <laughs> I got six arms. Gordo. <laughs> Why do I have six hands? <laughs> I woke up this morning and I just have six minutes. I don't understand it. You think I get more work done? <laughs> Not real. <laughs> I can just imagine Gordo yeah. having six arms. That'd be so funny. It's amazing. Spider Gordo. Sp- we would have two legs. He'd have eight limbs. Does Goro have six arms or four? Goro. Yeah, it's been Goro a while since I've played that game. Has four arms. Four. Didn't he have, wasn't there a girl as well? His sister? Like she Goro. She Goro. No. Shiva. <laughs> something kidding. like that. No. Mortal Kombat was so long ago. There was uh Is it even Mortal Kombat or am I thinking of like no, Killer yeah. Instinct? No, you're right, it's Mortal Kombat. You got it. Is this Amy Polo? Yes it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so young. Big fan of her. Started out on Conan. Dude. I Did love she? Amy Polo. Right. Yeah. She used to be like uh an audience member that they'd plant to do stuff before she started on SNL. Really? Yeah. Well, Michael seen her and just went, I've got to have her. She's great. Fuck. Because they're just two studios away from each other. I don't remember that. Yeah. This is this is way, this is early. Early for her. Conan O'Brien is yeah. my favorite. He's amazing. He's like, up there for me. I don't know. Love Jimmy. Um, I haven't actually, I take that back. I haven't seen Conan O'Brien in a really long time. But Not since he's had the TBS show? Yeah, I think so. No. Back big, in when I lived in. Big Conan O'Brien. Jimmy Brian. Kimmel's probably my favorite at this point. So I, I, It took me a while to warm up to him. Kimmel's I don't know great. why. Kimmel's great. Don't know why. Kimmel used like to have, him. he used to have the man show. Yes. With Corolla. Yeah. And that I think that actually put me off him. Cause I well, I never really watched it. I always would because some people didn't understand that it was a joke. Yeah. Either. Oh my gosh. This this cameo here is so good. Is this the dude from the room? Tommy oh, Wizow. T- yeah. Tim Robbins. Tommy. It's Tim Robbins. Tim it's Robbins. From so. the room Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> it's one big room. I'd love to see Morgan Freeman in the room. Uh, you tear me apart, <laughs> Morgan <Lisa>. Freeman. <laughs> oh, hi, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, hi, Morgan. I think I was um, like, <laughs> I only would ever watch Conan O'Brien because I would get home from hockey, and that Conan O'Brien was on. So it was on after Leno. I would miss everything else. Yeah, and fuck Leno. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan. My friend. I've watched literally nothing he's done. I got a story about Leno. I'm okay with it. Please. Yep. I'm loving I'm loving these random stories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people. Fuck McDonald's, fuck London, yeah. fuck Leno. So my friend uh Sean, who's now in the Coast Guard. Not Sean Bean. Uh, wait, was this Sean Swimmer Sean? Yeah. Yep, sweet. Yeah. So in this We've talked about it before. <laughs> okay, fair yeah. enough. So I'm not sure whether we recorded <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that part. My friend Sean uh was surfing. Just having a nice chill surf sesh in the water and a fucking sea lion swims up to him and at first is like everything's okay and then the thing just starts attacking him. What? (laughs) So he fucking punches it in the head and it swims away because you have to. Like his knee's all fucked up. It was gnarly. Like he tried to eat him. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. It was really crazy. Does this tie into Jay Leno? Because he yeah, is, yeah, yeah. he is. A, We're getting there. Okay. So he's a sea lion, a human sea lion. <laughs> so <laughs> so then, uh, you saying that just because you want to punch him in the face? 
Yeah. My, okay. <laughs> so then he's uh, going home, or it might have been earlier in the day, but basically the cops stopped him and then like cuffed him and were like, you're a suspect in a case and this and that, and it was mis- complete mistaken identity. And also, he got fired from his job all in one day. Well, it's a bad day. And um, sealed by it. Yeah. Mistaken by the police. Arrested. No one arrested. Yeah. No one wants that. And he lost his job because uh, based on the police thing? I think so. Okay. Um, I I can't remember that part. I'm pretty sure. That's fuel level bad. Yeah, of course. Of course. It was just. (laughs) 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 Not Daniel Powder. (laughs) Just just fuel. Um, (laughs) Bad day puns for the. (laughs) So. (laughs) <laughs> Leno or one of his producers or something. I don't know. The story of the sea lion thing got was sort of on the news and stuff. And Leno got wind of it and wanted him on the show. Okay. So he went and and did the show uh and was on the show and did an interview and everything and like talked about his day and stuff. But my friend Sean is probably more chill and soft more soft spoken than I am so like hard to believe it is very hard to believe when like Leno would ask him a question it was just like yeah <laughs> <laughs> the worst like, person to interview and then like maybe like a short description and yeah. then like that was it so Leno had to kind of tr- try to get the yeah. answers out of him yeah, yeah, yeah. which so, he would have considered so bad he, television I, yeah so he's got it on tape yeah but it never aired. it never aired yeah because Leno went, nah, fuck this guy. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Wow. That's a great story. Yeah, that just made me like him less. More. So I heard you had a a sea lion bite you. Tell me more about that. Yeah, I was surfing and this thing came up and started attacking me. Like what ran through your mind when that happened? Like it's crazy for a sea lion to kind of come out of nowhere and just bite you. Like you're, how do you react to that? Your Jay Leno is horrible, by the way. I've never seen Jay Leno. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. Do I fill my my mouth with marshmallows? Is, you could have a bigger chin, yeah. way bigger chin for starters. It's crazy how big his head is. It's huge. I don't know. Like he and he right, rides okay. bikes. I don't. Does he get a custom helmet made or? Yeah, I don't know. He, I, mean, I don't believe his head's that big. It's sure. a big head. He's just got a big jaw. Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan. That's made me like him less. Yeah. The whole Conan Dave thing, because I was a Dave guy yeah. when I was younger. That's on Channel 9 here when I was a kid. Late night with Dave Leverman. It was, it was the only Tonight Show that got played mm. here from memory, from America. So I grew up watching him. Conan went to take over and I was like, cool. And then he comes back and does his shit. He looks like an artist caricature. caricature he does of someone yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. And now think of he, people drawing a caricature of him and how big the that chin is. Of him, yeah, mm. that's. Yep. All right. And a high pierced, whiny kind of voice. Oh, he's gotten bigger. He's gotten bigger. Show Gav that. Oh wow, that's crazy. Is that three chins in that photo? <laughs> I'm hating. I'm hating on the Leno. Hating on the Leno. No, I've always been more Kimmel, just because he has better segments. Like he, I've, sh- I've shown you Charlie the uh, the time when um, Will Ferrell and Ryan Gosling <laughs> just break in, just take over his show. Nice so as, good. as the knife guys. Well, he had the good like the he's got the so mean good. tweets, mean tweets. Yeah, he's got the whole thing with Damon going on. Mean yep. tweets is good. Mean when tweets he was is good. Back when he was dating Sarah was Silverman. Sarah Silverman. Yeah, it's also funny. Yeah, it just took me a while to warm up to him. I'm not sure why, but I, know, yeah. I think I was locked in with my late night guys that were on the scene at the time. Dude, five miles is not that far to walk. No, it's not at no. all. No. When I was in the States, I had to basically what? went to <laughs> Walmart. Yeah. And Bought the beer was so cheap there. Oh, dude. So I would get like what would normally be a slab of of Coronas for like 13 bucks yeah nice. I was like what yeah we didn't obviously have a car or anything so I had to carry that all back when were you to in our the, hotel when were you in the States on my honeymoon oh that's right. 
Yeah. I know it's not the states. Yeah, it's not really. <laughs> it is. It's it, a state. It 100% is. It's so Americanized. But yeah, I had to walk two miles with a slab of beer. What is that, four kilometers thereabouts? Just I over? Di- I did it. It's not very far. More than once. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> the beer was that cheap. Yeah. yeah. What's crazy is Hawaii is actually really expensive. So. Compared to like mainland. Perhaps maybe not at a Walmart, but at all the other shops, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, Walmart, you're right. Walmart Dinner, would be cheap. Like we went out, we we easily spent. Oh no, we had dinner on the beach on the the night of the Honolulu festival. So we had fireworks over the beach, and we were out in there. And we just drank and ate whatever we wanted, and we got the the, the bill, and it was like close to four hundred Australian dollars. <laughs> 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 we're like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do it. You were never going to do it again. <laughs> Say hello, to it's, it's the alcohol, like drinks that. It's the tipping as well. I don't yeah. Know. I think yeah, we tipping is huge. Well, once you get to a certain amount of money, the gratuity is included. Yeah. So, yeah. But do, do they tell you that up front? Or is that something you have to learn? Something you have to learn, bro. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they don't fucking tell you. But look. The pay, the paying in America is shit. Yeah, it's uh, they pay it well. It's what I I went to a place in New York called Marta, and they said that it was included. We couldn't tip the guy. Gratuity was included. What does some places do it and some don't? Is that better pay just because it's a fancy, er mm. establishment? So like you go into Applebee's, that person behind the counter is getting seven to nine bucks an hour, whereas somebody doing the exact same job here in a similar similar establishment would get about 17 to 19 yep okay but the person so like so like bus boys bus boys don't get tips because they're just cleaning shit yeah so they'll like once the night's over or once like the shift is over the all the waitresses and, and servers and stuff will put give the bus boy some of their tips like that's like how he makes like how he fucking lives that's so minimum wage messed up yeah it's so gnarly it's such a like I mean people do it but that's not their only job that's probably their one of three yeah. jobs it's well, like three nights a week you're a bus boy and then three the other th- the other three nights you're well what I mean by one of three jobs is they're probably working at least two jobs who, who is the Sasquatch slash Bigfoot yeah, what the fuck? It sounds like Jeffrey Tambor to me. But I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of easy to forget. He gets Charlie's looked at the screen and gone, are we still watching the same fucking movie? Yeah, yeah. he has this weird duet with his dad, who is a set. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> did he take drugs? Yeah, uh, yeah you have to, <laughs> to to be looking at this part. Yeah, he did. He did, did he do drugs? Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Holy shit. That's the rainbow. Yes, yeah, that's Pegasus. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. That's Willy Wonka on a like a thousand. <laughs> that's he also sounds super weird too. This is so insane. <laughs> Who plays the Sasquatch? I'm, yeah, looking, I'm, the I'm looking it up. Man. Oh, and this is what's actually happening. Uh, yep. He's he's gone to the beach, dude. There was a sick video game, I think on Nintendo, where you were in a, a tube. I'm pretty sure it was called Tubin. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in Tubin? And you just had to go down the river and there were different obstacles and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that you were throwing beer to people on the fucking... Now that I'm like remembering it. So this is like a redneck game? <sighs> Tubin and throwing beers for drunk uncle. and Yeah. Because it's a picnic at the Tubin... Establishment, but such a dude, it was such a sick game. My, my friend Bo was amazing. I, I honestly don't remember. Tubin, <laughs> uh, who is man. it? It's John C. Riley. Yeah, I, th- I was I was looking at him thinking <laughs> it might be him. Yeah, amazing. Yes, <laughs> holy shit, he's great. What's the what's the musical parody movie he does? Walk Hard, is Dewey Cox. That's yeah. he's great. In that. Uh, Walk Hard at Dewey Cox story. I think that's a very underrated movie. Yeah, I'm I don't hear I remember enjoying about it. it. And yeah, it was a great movie. So Johnny Cash walked the line. Yeah, exactly off. right. Yeah. 
What have you found, Charlie? I found it. It's called tube. 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 It's, it's called tubin. It's called. Tu- <laughs> no ap- apostrophe. No G. Right. No G. Tubin. Tubin. T. Props to you for remembering that because we've <laughs> you've got a it's bad red. memory. I can remember things from twenty years ago. I can't remember things from twenty minutes ago. Yeah. It's good. It's fair enough. I don't know why. <laughs> it fucking bums me out. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, bro. Such a sick game. And you can get, like, yes. you can, like go in the whirlpools and it like you it'll take you to another part. I'm just, people need to hear the music. I'm sorry. It's going to I'm going <laughs> to Like come on. <laughs> that's amazing. Right? That's that's 16-bit in all its glory. Oh, jeez. Well, that's NES. That's that's 8-bit. Yeah. Apparently, that I could that could be my ringtone. I didn't know this, but there's an N64 version of this game. No, get out! The, I, I is it would... collecting fish? I can't remember. Oh, dude, there's like a a lagoon monster. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, yeah. sick. I swear you throw, like, you throw drinks to people. I could something. listen to that forever. I love that 8-bit stuff. It's, it it's amazing. It's a good soundtrack. I, I do, I want to see the N64 version now. Just to see what yeah. the graphics... Legit. It's suddenly become the Tubin podcast. Top 10 hardest NES games. There's a Silver Surfer as the cover. What? Yeah. No, that's just to lure you in. That's Silver Surfer. Yeah, but there was no Silver Surfer NES game, was there? Maybe there was. It looks like there was. All right, so they're Dude, both... I totally miss you. Yeah, they've both done drugs, clearly, by the bongs in the background. Kogas is just having a really bad time at the party. Ah, uh, okay. Just, just missing... His mate, his bro, man. What do you got for us, Charles? Battle Toads, such a good game. Did you ever play that? Battle Toads. Did you have? I, d- I don't think John. I did Battle you Toads. have a Nintendo? What type? A NES. The one Nintendo Top Gun it was a fucking hard ass game. The arcade game though, was so sick. Arcade Top Gun. Amazing. I think I'm just trying to. I think for me, NES, and I, I believe I only had one game because my dad was a bit of a cheapskate. Spy vs. Spy. Word. Yeah. Good game. First ever dual screen kind of split screen yeah. game. Such a sick. Which game. was you'd run ahead, you'd plant a bomb, and like watch them walk through it, and then if you've read Mad Magazine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Spy vs. Spy. Other screen would blow up, and you'll go be like. Because he blew you up. Spider yeah. is a mad game. Yeah, it's pretty Mad fun. good game. Pretty fun. I had... Yeah. I didn't have a... Didn't have a Nintendo. Didn't have an S? <laughs> you have Super NES? No. What? I, had a game, I had a Game Boy Advance. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. But otherwise, it was just consoles. Like, we had Sega. I forget about the age difference. Because I had one of the... Uh, I had one of the Game Boys... That, 15, bro. Remember Game Boy Color came out? Yeah. But they had Game Boy that was black and white that came in the colors... Yeah, oh, yeah just, I had that one. Was it just grey? I had, had a yellow, yellow and a, I had the transparent one. Yes. The clear one. You're fucking sick. Oh, loved it. Such a hipster. Contra? Such oh, Contra! <sighs> Contra is possibly one of the best side scrolling games of all time. Amazing. Wow. What does that sound like? Put that to the mic. I want to hear Contra. <laughs> no, that's, that's you. That's you. <laughs> I don't remember that in Contra. Hold on. <laughs> hey, it's, there's people talking. You won't be able to hear it properly. Oh, because they're, I just they're playing the, the game. The Silver Surfer game. Was there a Silver Surfer game? Super Mario Brothers. It's, it took, a, it's a hard it, game. It took two Fantastic Four movies to get a Silver Surfer, didn't it? Ninja Gaiden. So good. I used to play the... Yeah, Silver Surfer. Here it is. Ninja Gaiden. What? Nin- did you guys... Uh, yeah. I do not remember this. 1990. I was on a round. Yeah, I was just going to say, how old are you? That I'm 15. is so insane. <laughs> 2003. Dude, this game looks yeah. sick. <laughs> I would play this game. I can't believe I did not existed. It looks weird. Is the Silver Surfer just a dot? No, he's pro- okay. proper Silver Surfer. He's, he's surfing on his board. <laughs> and killing people. He's fighting pumpkins right now. Fighting pump- pumpkins and Silver Surfer. I didn't get the reference. Looks like, oh, the, is like a, the main dude is uh, Mephisto, the devil. Is it like a Namco um, game? Yeah. yeah. You'd know him if you saw him. 
Probably. It looks <laughs> like it's the main dude in this. It look, I mean, he's definitely in hell. That's cool. Hell's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're all going after the podcast. I'll well, speak for yourself. Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> Mega Man. Hardest, hardest Nintendo game. Second hardest. What's the first hardest? Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I oh think. yeah, come on. It looks like. Oh wait. Maybe Battle Battle Toads. <laughs> What's at the end here? That's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Literally watching you fast forward a video in front of us. <laughs> this makes for great radio. Yeah. Right, so he's uh, Jack Black and Kyle have gone into a museum. Clearly, it's the Museum of Rock where History or whatever. They're dressed up like. Well, that's a that's is it the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah it is. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Where yeah. he's looking like he's holding Steven Tyler from Aerosmith's microphone. It's got a scarf on it. I think that's Steven Tyler. It's supposed to be. Bowie over in the corner. It's a weird Bowie. Bowie. Isn't every incarnation of Bowie weird? Yes. Yeah. So I think uh, Bowie and Zoolander is my favorite though. A retrospective. Yeah, let's look at it. Because it's the pack. Doom, doom, doom. So when did you stop watching this film? Have you seen anything as far as this? Um, no, like I didn't. It wasn't like a complete. Didn't half sit down and view it here to here. It's yeah. just bits and pieces where people have gone. This song is hilarious, but you have to watch the YouTube version oh, yeah, that's yeah. Right. stolen from the movie. Right, right, right. So I know songs, but not really a plot. They're trying to steal the pig industry. Yeah. Oh, like gotcha. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they want the. So pig. this is like national treasure, but like the music version. You got it. <laughs> that's the that's the connection. Yeah. So you've got you've got a guy who looks like Nicolas Cage yep. and a Jack guy Black. who is, is the cage. Oh, oh, the reference. <laughs> and it's all come full circle. Yep. I'd love to see Jack. Does Jack Black in his lifetime ever do a Nick Cage impersonation? Does that exist somewhere? Maybe. Probably, Probably not. not. Okay. Has anyone seen Orange County, the film? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. It's one of my favorite films of all time. No. It's pretty good. No. Colin Hanks, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I know the movie. It's I've so dope. I've seen it. And Jack Black. Yeah. I do. So I remember... Good. It's one of my favorite Jack Black movies. Foo Fighters had a song on the soundtrack called The One. That's what I remember. Good song. Yeah. Yes. Although the the best song that that um, movie is The Butterfly by Crazy Town. Oh yeah, you're my butterfly. Come, sugar come my lady. lady. <laughs> the worst. This which, is my song. Which is, <laughs> so I think bad. there's a Red Hot Chili Peppers sample in that. I think that guitar riff is actually from a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. What the? <laughs> yeah, that bit. That <laughs> That's the guitar riff. That's man. the only guitar riff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was just fun to hear you guys do it. <laughs> With Charlie and Jack Black. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there's definitely a Chili Pepper sample in there. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> crazy Town guys? Yeah. Crazy Town. Or ch- Chili Peppers. Just shit musicians. <laughs> All of them. All the I can't crazy say any of them. Fuck you, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck McDonald's. <laughs> Fuck London. <laughs> Fuck Crazy Town. They're bad. They're bad at what they do. <laughs> I think that's the only song they had too. I don't remember a second hit from nah, Crazy one Town. Hit. It's a one hit wonder. One hit wonder. The singer went into rehab. He was on this TV show, Celebrity Rehab. Oh, serious? Yeah. With the bassist from Guns N' Roses, who legit was on so much fucking heroin on the TV show. It was insane. Bassist. Like, they were like, yeah, everyone's trying to get sober. And this dude's just on heroin. Not me. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> was Gary time. Busey on that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a crazy bunch of people right there. Dude. It's so nuts. Danny Bonaducci maybe too? Yeah, he was on it for sure. Dr. Drew, man. So good. Oh, yeah. I think he has a, a podcast. I might start he listening. He does. I'm going to yeah. listen to that actually. Yeah, I, I, it's a radio. I still, I think it's a radio show in America that's it created. Used to, it used to be. Yeah. Used to be. One of my favorite things about 
driving in America in in Los Angeles was listening to Love Line uh with coming Dr. Drew. coming home from uh hockey games but Love Line with Dr. Drew was the fucking best. There we go. This is so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is the best Jack Black. We're watching Jack Black's cock push a button. It's becoming erect enough to push a button. Turn All off the laser grid. Everyone needs to start doing cock push-ups. Yeah. One, Highly recommended. One a day. <laughs> one a day. But it hurts my cock. <laughs> Just think. One day I'll need to turn off some lasers. Of how strong <laughs> your your cock will be. <laughs> uh, Fred Armisen. Uh, what a man. Guitar gods. Just get the guitar, bro. Whose guitars are they? Who they belong to? Van Halen, probably is someone else. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Two bin, mate. Two bin. Is that a Marshall amp? Uh, I think it was Fender, actually. That's oh. a broken one. Yeah. Never was a huge fan of Fender. Just not my style. Not my sound. What was your sound? Fucking metal. <laughs> there we go. Power slide. There it is. <laughs> see, now, see, the annoying thing about this is, you know, you... You hear it, you go, okay, it's the who. What immediately else comes to mind? Ooh. Bloody uh, CSI Miami. Fuck yeah, which is very annoying. Never watched it. Oh, dude, the memes are so good. <laughs> so there's three you, of them, right? There was CSI, CSI Miami, CSI New York. Correct. There's All three of them have who songs as their thing. But song. CSI Miami had um, that particular one. Caruso. And it was um, the guy always made some stupid pun. And, and then he and put his shades on, and on. His, oh, yeah. the shades come on yep. with that. So it'd be like, I don't know, someone gets m- murdered, and they were like a, they were like a, uh, so they sold candy or something to someone. <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> looks no. like a sugar hit. Yeah, oh. <laughs> like yeah, be unrelated <laughs> to the, and then that would come on. You're like, oh Jesus, that's so yep. brutal. So that's they've kind of ruined that for me now. And that wasn't even the original. And he'd be like, I guess you could say he had a, a bittersweet end. Wow. <laughs> 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 it was like, always putting the shades on. It was so horrible. Bad. There is a parody of that so where there's like good. a dude and he takes off the shades, but he's wearing another pair of shades underneath so he can take those off as well. <laughs> so brilliant. Good. So good. Uh, I've always wanted to do a spoof of that. It'd be amazing. Isn't he actually the devil or no? No. Oh, fuck. He's just some stranger. (laughs) (laughs) Now he looks like the character from Anchorman that kicks the dog over the bridge. (laughs) You know what? Now this is happening. (laughs) Baxter! 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 That's immediately before he's in the glass case of emotion and milk's a bad choice. It's so goddamn hot. (laughs) Just was a ripping bad from the mustache. Yeah. Just perfect. Oh no. Whoop whoop. It's the fuzz. I feel like he's in like Hawaii five O now or something. I can't believe that's a TV show. Yeah, me either. Mm. Isn't there a CSI Louisiana? No, you're thinking of uh, NCSI New Orleans. Yeah. Not related? No, and I'm really no. disappointed in myself for knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's favorite Robin, Chris O'Donnell's in it. It's true. Was that the no? There's a Los Angeles one, isn't there? Wait, so I'm s- there's Los way Angeles too many NCISs, dude. So, so there is a lot of so them. CSI, yeah, and crime scene investigation, yes, and N C I S, which is nautical or something, isn't it? Isn't it something naval. to do with boat, naval? Yeah, boats or something. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't get no, me started. No, it's to do with the not Navy. Not related. Two different shows. Two, one's two to do with networks. the Navy. The other one's just a police procedural. One's, They're both police procedural. One's to do with the Navy. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, That's NCIS. It's like the new version of JAG. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> JAG. <laughs> what a <laughs> fucking terrible TV show. You know what I used to watch though? I'm so glad I brought both it Both on reruns. Yeah. But um, JAG always used to show at least when I had no job. <laughs> Jaguars used to be on like at about 11 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Just at home doing shit all. Sick fucking time spot. And then after that was MacGyver. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good. This just reminds me of like what my grandmother will watch in the <laughs> fucking afternoon. She'd watch yeah, like Mash should be after that. Mur- murder She Wrote. Oh, Colum- yeah, it's a little so later. Good. Columbo. Pitiful. And then like MacGyver would come on. Yeah. Like that's when like yep. starting to get to like sort of late afternoon. Gotta Maybe have. you were coming home from lunch. I feel like you're going to add some like some Anna Green Gables kind of stuff in there as well. Little House on little the Prairie. Daytime. Uh, yeah. No, Golden Girls. Golden Girls, yes. Yeah. Uh, Three's Company. Thank you for being a friend. Family Ties reruns. Oh, Family Ties. Family yes. Ties. Alex P. Did you ever watch Three's, Three's Company? Uh, no. No. Two, two uh, wasn't, dudes wasn't board, th- right? John Ritter. Yeah. Mm. Wasn't yeah. a thing here. No, it wasn't. Country. Not at all. Yo, we were trying to I make have, our own with stupid ones with like, "Hey, Dad." I have two <laughs> movies. I have two movies that we have to fucking watch that you for sure haven't seen that will blow your fucking mind. One of them is called "Mom and Dad Save the World." <laughs> yeah, you're right. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> Both of these are from either the early '90s or late '80s. I I can't remember. That's our niche. So, and when I say niche, it's not like we've seen them. Mom and Dad save want to. <laughs> Mom and Dad save the world, or save the Earth, is literally about this family that, or I think just Mom and Dad, obviously. Mom and Dad going on a road trip, gets sucked in outer space, <laughs> in their station wagon, end up on this super random planet, and it's because, uh, the the bad guy like saw the wife and was like, she's very pretty. I want to marry her pulls them through space to this planet and they have to like escape the planet because they're going to blow up earth so they have to stop the dude from blowing up earth who's played by john lovitz oh amazing oh, what are you <laughs> amazing <laughs> i'm reaping all the benefits it's a re- it's a ridiculous <laughs> movie if if i tried to watch it with ash she'd for sure try to beat me up like, <laughs> for sure would just who else it. is in it i've never heard of this movie um i, I i'm I, looking it up I can't remember their yeah, name. Yeah, please do. Because John Lovett's that's a good start. So if Phil Hartman's still alive and he's in it, I'll be very impressed. Uh Phil Hartman is in it. Oh. Why have I not seen this movie? I love Phil Hartman. I'm almost sure of it. Just so, Lovett's and Hartman, they go together. So they're a they're a planet of idiots. <laughs> Everyone is just fucking retarded. Yeah. Like insane. It's so funny. Um the other movie has John Ritter. Nineteen ninety two. Mom wow. and Dad Save the World. Yeah. Terry Gar. Yeah. Jeffrey okay. Jones. Yeah. Yeah. John Lovitz. Terry Gar. Thelmus Rezulala. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Wallace Shawn is in it. Wallace Shawn from uh, Princess Bride fame. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, the the I short the, the short the short dude. Yeah. The short dude. Yeah. Inconceivable. Yeah. In, in, inconceivable. <laughs> Isn't he one of the voices in Toy Story as well? Yes. Yes. He's the T Rex. T Rex. Yes, yeah. he is. That's pretty much it from people I'm and aware of. Terry Gar is. All right, so the dude who plays the dad, what's his name? Jeffrey Jones. Jeffrey Jones. Yeah. Is also in this movie with John Ritter called. He's he's Ed, oh my gosh he's Ed Rooney from F- Ferris Bueller <gasps> yes oh wow. that's the dude that's You're true. kidding me that's Jeffrey Jones no way uh two that's wow sick. he's in Howard the Duck as well that's cool <laughs> Howard the Duck yeah Howard the <laughs> Duck uh what's the fucking John Ritter movie you gotta look it up for me John since you're since you're looking. Uh, I think it's called 
mom and dad save the world. And what was the other one? Dude, this is the uh, this is the part where the devil shows up. This is the best part. It's so good. Because he's holding the, the pack. He is the devil. Yeah. Uh, anyways. The open mic night guy. So the, the other movie is about... John Ritter is basically like... The Devil's Advocate, Santa Fe, The Pest, The Crucible. Is this John Ritter? Look up John Ritter. This is Jeffrey Jones. Oh, well, you can keep going. Um, what what year do you reckon? Probably about the same time. House Guest. House Guest. Extraterrestrial Alien Encounter. Nope. Ed Wood. Nope. Heaven and Earth. Nope. Tale, it, Tales from the Crypt. It's like two Not on a limb. It's something to stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's it. Stay tuned. Yep. It's literally the next film that he did after Mumbai yeah. Save the World. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's about the same time. I don't know either of these films. So yeah, John Ritter's in it, yeah. Yeah. So fucking John Ritter is like You motherfucker. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't really like all he does is like watch TV and he like doesn't pay attention to his family. And then What's his name? Shows up at the at the at the door as like a salesman. He's like, "Hey, I've got this. Uh, we've got this crazy entertainment system, and you can buy it. You know, th- th- thirty day free trial. This and that." And he's like, "Fuck, sounds great." And this is after, um, his wife like breaks his TV because yeah. he like is being lazy and doesn't want to help. So basically, this TV what's his name from mom and dad save the world is actually the devil and this tv essentially sucks people in to this tv world this alternate tv world that and like all the t all the like channels pleasantville kind of but way, yeah. but way fucked up <laughs> um the like all the tv channels are super fucked up like they play jokes on people like this police shows up at this this policeman shows up at this old lady's house and he's like I'm sorry ma'am and like pretty much is like your husband's dead <laughs> and this she, is part of the TV show this is part of the TV show and she's like oh my god and like just freaking out and like she's like I've lost everything and it's super sad and they have they they play the TV show like it's a comedy so the, the TV host is like so and so doesn't know yet but oh she's on something yeah. something camera and we're <laughs> oh, gonna that's give so messed up. it's so fucked and like there's like all, just, all these different crazy yeah. TV shows so people get sucked in and they essentially have to survive all these different TV shows and like John Ritter gets sucked in and then his family kind of his son kind of figures out that you can get sucked in because he goes outside to unplug the antenna and then it tries to suck him in and it sucks his bike in. All this shit happens. The hell? It's a mm. fucking weird ass movie, but it's so fucking good. Definitely sounds weird. The like so like Wayne's World is on there, but they're like s- like satanic versions of them. <laughs> the hell? It's so good. <laughs> weird ass movie. You're gonna dude. have to do one of these podcasts for that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. We'll definitely we'll, get them. We'll do it. So that that devil that we're looking at that that's Dave Grohl yep yeah okay you can hear it in the singing in the singing Math manager <laughs> now it's <laughs> time to blow this fucker down come keys now it's time to blow dust down the tribute song's so good yep and we'll pray you to brown town <laughs> <laughs> so good. Some of those songs like this, and what's the what's the one uh, in basketball where he's driving the car and it comes up on the radio? I don't. You know, I've only seen basketball once. Seriously, three times max. Okay, and it's not that good. I don't. You are it. the devil. I don't it. We are the D. <laughs> we are the D. We are I don't know why I don't like it because I I've usually like that. Style of humor, yeah, yeah. But I think it's just it was too dumb. Like the humor was too dumb. No, that's fair enough. 
I can I can I can get that because those guys are super funny. Like, yeah, I, I I know their movies and shit. You know, but they didn't. They just acted in it like that. Yeah, that wasn't. They true. didn't write that movie. You're right. But I do get where you're coming from. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, fuck my fucking horn. fucking horn. <laughs> so good. Cage, <laughs> it's so good. Oh yeah, that scroll for sure. So good. <laughs> they don't. They, what is weird to me is they, like, they get super fucking high and they blow the smoke at the microphone. Yeah. And so that's what the microphone s- hears. Yeah, yeah. So the microphone. So they don't. They're not actually good. No. <laughs> is what the end of the movie tells me. <laughs> it's just the drug, like the marijuana. Yeah. That they're the smoking. The marijuana is amazing because they smoke it out of the horn of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. It's devil marijuana. Yeah, and so it just makes the sick devil's devil's fuck, lettuce. Yeah. Fucking metal. <laughs> and they don't do anything. They just <laughs> get super high. Yeah. <laughs> so good. What a what a movie. Oh well. well. That's it. It's late for us. It's late for everyone. Yeah, we're old. I don't know what John's complaining about, fucking fifteen year old over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to a party after this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. If someone was like, Hey, you wanna go out right now? Like, Fuck you. If food was involved, I'd probably Maybe. Do. Maybe. It'd have to be some deep dish Chicago pizza. Really yep. I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> we have to fly to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Get a deep dish pizza. And fly back. And fly back. I'm down. Let's do John it. C. Riley, Sasquatch researcher. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's amazing. That's not something he's playing. He had to research Sasquatches to be able to play one. Yep. Love it. The Sasquatch man. Well... It's another day. It's been real. Another episode. Thanks for having me. It's okay, man. It's good to have you. Hope you had fun. Loved it. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of Popular Cult. We'll see you next time. Peace. 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 Peace.